Okay, so now we've got our recipes loaded from the API. So the next step is to add that to the list. So we have here a table list view. What we need to do is add our information to the delegates for the table view. And the information that we need here is starting with the number of sections. That was going to be one. We'll leave that at that. And the uh, number of rows in section. So let's do recipes account. So this will return the number of recipes that we have in our list. The height stays the same. And then we need to configure the cell, each cell for each recipe. To configure the cell, we'll need to connect these UI elements to our recipe list cell. So what we'll do is click on that. So what we want to do is hit control and then drag that to our file here and then add. So this is going to be our dish image view and then this is going to be the dish title and then this label is going to be the tweet account All right, so we're good to go. So in our recipe cell, let's make a function that's actually going to set the details of the recipe. So first thing to do is add a function called set details. And then here we're going to pass in our recipe object. And each cell will have one recipe object. OK, let's add that to or include files, include files. Okay, so the first thing to do is to set our dish title. And then that's gonna be the recipe.name. And then let's also set the tweet account. And that's going to be the Twitter share count. And then the last thing we need to also set is the image itself. Oh, okay, the Twitter, okay, before we do that, the Twitter share count is an integer. So we need to set that I and mean, convert that to a string. Okay, so for the image, um, right now we have an image URL, so we're gonna have to load the URL from load, load the image from from that URL. So we have a recipe that thumbnail, I think it's called. So what we'll do is convert that to a, an NS data. So let's say so that's gonna be the image data. So we can do data with content of URL, and that URL we needs to be passed in with our thumbnail. So that that needs a URL. So what we'll do is create a URL, NS URL. And then we do URL with string. So what so this so this line is gonna create a URL for us and then this line is gonna create the data or like basically request the data from that URL and push that into our data. So let's change that to URL. So now we, when we do have the image data, then we also need to actually create a UI image from that data.
and then use the image with data function and then pass in our image data so we are almost there so with that image let's fix that sorry so with that image we can now set our image view with this image so last thing to do is dish image view dot dish image view dot image it's gonna be the image that we've just created and we're done so normally you will do this asynchronously in the background but for our simplistic app we just need to get the data in there it might make the UI hang for a little bit but at least we should be able to see our information down there this function needs to be called every time we request for a cell so let's put that in there let's put that in the header and then go back to our recipe list and then in this function it's saying table cell for row at index path so we'll need to configure our cell at this point so let's pull out the recipe for this index path So this will access the recipes, the recipe for that row, and then we'll say cell set details with recipe, and then we'll say recipe. So now this is going to set our details on that on that cell. Okay, there's one more thing we need to do. So we need to actually call or actually reload the tables. So we'll call a reload table on the table view or reload data. It's called. And also it looks like we haven't created these recipes before we started adding values to it. So let's recreate a new recipe. Oh sorry, a new a new list. Okay, let's run that and see what we get. So it's loading now. Oh and yes, those are those are recipes. So we can see the recipes from the internet so it looks like it's taken a while for us to scroll here because it's kind of hanging that is because every time a recipe comes into view it tries to load the data from the internet every time so we need to fix that so let's go back to our application and then in our recipe file or in our recipe object let's add the data itself so when it's loaded we don't need to load it every time so it's going to be an ns data okay so let's pull that across do a synthesize on that as well so what we need to do is create a function called load data we can just basically copy this and set that to be our image data. So if we say that is the cell dot image data, and then for the URL, we'll have So since we're loading that there, we just need to make a do a quick check. We'll make sure that the data is loaded before we try to request the data. So if we remove that and do something like this, if so if that, then we'll copy this and put it in here. So this is gonna be image with data recipe that image data. And then our dish image view is going to be there. But if it's not there, we'll call recipe.load data. And that has to be in the header file as well. So let's copy that. The same thing at the bottom there. remove that this can be done differently either by making sure that the recipe loads its data itself but for now let's leave it like this so we're gonna run that again 
and I hope hopefully we get a smooth scrolling recipe view yep and that's it so after it's loaded our scrolling becomes smoother so let's stop that so then the next step is to actually add the information to our detailed view as well so if I go to my recipe detail here what I need to do is connect the image view and the title to the implementation file so let's do that now we're looking for our recipe detail .h. so we've got a scroll view there we just need to add this too so let's call that dish image and then let's call this dish title as well so what we can do is create a recipe object on the detail view so let's do that Let's do a synthesize on that as well. Okay, so in our view did load, we can easily set the information that we need. So what we'll do here is set the dish image. And that'll be the recipe dot image data and then next thing is the dish title Oops. and we should be good to go um, but before we do that we also need to set this recipe variable in the list so we'll pass that along as a list when we're actually clicking on the, the cell. So that will happen in the did select row at index path. So we can say our detail that recipe is So this will pull out the recipe from from the list of recipes so let's build that so let's run that and see what we get so those are our recipes and if we click on that we have our image and then the title there for the free version of the punch fork api you don't get ingredients so that's why we're not going to change this for now but but it's going to be similar it's going to be the same idea with the way we actually got the title and the image let's try another one fish tacos we've got some fish tacos let's try the silky cauliflower soup oh no that's gone grilled salmon nice fish tacos again tuna patties nice so there we have it we have our app finished We've got the list designed, nice design on it. We've got the detail view nicely styled as well. So now you're ready to go and design your app. So watch the next video and I'm going to give you some information on how to actually make this course very useful for you. Thanks for watching.